how to solve equations on the TI Voyage 200. So the main uh, thing is a solve function. So if you have x, you know, x plus 6 equals 10, and you solve for x, you get x equals 4. Let's do something a little more complicated. Let's do x squared plus 6x plus 6 equals 0. And you get the positive and negative solutions of that quadratic equation. Now, you can also do symbolic manipulation. A times x squared plus B times x plus C equals 0 and solve for, solve for x. And it will give you the answer generic, the familiar negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. I want to show something with this one and change it slightly to 2x. And you see the answer is false. That cannot exist in the, the real number system. But if you do C solve, then it solves it and finds the complex solutions. So you see I there, which is a square root of negative 1. So C solve is something else that's good to know. Uh, let's also look at when... Let's look at this function first. Let's look, just look at the sine of x. A trigonometric function. I'm going to graph this. And I'm going to make sure my zoom is set on zoom trig for kind of best viewing of trigonometric functions. So you can see the sine x equals 0 at basically an infinite number of places. So what you can do, and I think this is a pretty cool feature of the calculator, you can just do solve the sine of x equals 0, and it'll say ampersand n some number times pi. That's, it's the calculator's way of saying this is just the 17th generic constant, integer constant, that has been created on this calculator since last time it was reset. So, since last time that counter was reset. So it's basically just saying that sine of x equals 0 when x equals k times pi, where k is just some generic constant. For example, the sine of 3, the sine of 3 pi equals 0. The sine of 175 pi equals 0. Okay, um, another solve that's, that's pretty good is, let me just go back to the regular solve and do a slightly more complicated function. Let's do natural log of x times x squared and have that equal to 1. If you just do solve, it just returns it to you. Now, <clears throat> let me adjust the camera a second. Um, if you do diamond enter, which is approximate, it will usually give you an answer, though it might take a while. Something that can speed up the answer, if you're just looking for a numeric answer, is n-solve, which goes through some numerical analysis routine. And then when you, when you press enter, it usually takes a little while to think about it, because again, it's going through some routine, but it returned it pretty quick. Whereas if we did solve, and then we did approximate, it'll probably return it but I think as you'll see it'll take a little longer. I would assume because it's using some different type of um, algorithm to solve it. Okay, so these were the three methods of solving. Solve, C-solve, and solve. And that's all I got, but the, um, actually that's not all I got. <laughs> the calculator is pretty good at saying like the conditions on something. So if a solution requires that a constant is greater than zero, it's usually pretty good about telling you, telling you stuff like that. Okay, so that's all I got. For real, 
and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.